Pika. It's, uh, me and Elvis have been w waiting to, to work on another track for a long time. And then also me and Henry, we were, we were waiting uh, to come up with the right idea. And he sent me something and it had the, the, the Latin vibe. It was still missing a lot, but I was like, I'm going to make this work. Don't worry about it. We got to collab. And, uh, you know, I recorded the pianos. You know, I did a lot of the drums and stuff. So and when I sent it back to him, like he was just like, wow. Because of the, that excitement, you know, the, that right there is like what makes those kind of songs happen you know like for me i know right away from the get-go if when a song is actually going to happen you know so if you're excited about it and that was pika this whole entire journey project or whatever um started when i was like 10 years old when i was going with my dad to the to the quinceañeras and the bodas and the primeras comuniones we were djing you know more my dad was djing i was very observant you know i had nothing else to do i was very observant i would always pay attention to you know the crowd and like sometimes the crowd was different sometimes it was all the same the, the majority of it was latino people so and like i remember the, the music you know like suavemente that was probably the staple and uh as i got older um I started understanding something that I I used to my advantage, meaning I understood how to make people dance, like what they wanted to hear. I always wanted to do something that basically like I feel like I was meant to do, you know? I'm gonna mix Mexican music with, with techno, you know? And um, for me, I like the, the high energy, you know, the, the peak hour at festivals, everybody jumping. And I also liked the merengue times. And that's where it came together. It took me probably like two years to like really get comfortable with it. And it took me about like six different tracks, six different attempts. As long as you have the patience and dedication, like you just keep, keep, keep wanting to learn and you'll eventually learn. My kids got to witness, you know, me recording. Like they got to witness it. One day I'm going to explain to them, you know, if you ever want to do something pretty cool you know you're gonna have to like invest yourself you're gonna apply yourself and and you know sacrifice the, the hours the, the, the work you know you know you, you don't want you want to go have fun but you really want something else to happen at the end of the day you know the reward is just so much greater and i think the latino community was bound to flood the gates you know because it's, i mean it's there's so much that the latino community has to offer to the world and now that it's starting to grow in the edm world not just the edm world but just in the world in general you know you have it on pop you got, you know you got all the urban and i'm super excited that's like dude like i get front row seats on that you know i get to watch it happen and this is like such a blessing so that i feel like every year it's, it's happening more and more you know What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.